I try a lot of different things. Some are failures and some aren't failures. And no matter what the outcome it is, it's all a learning experience to me. Whatever happens here, I'm excited about it. And we're going to learn something from it and we will apply it in the future. My name is Rob Hinton. I'm a farmer in the northern neck of Virginia. I farm in Lancaster and Northumberland counties. I farm corn, wheat, soybeans, barley on about 1,400 acres. From 2003, from about that time frame is when we started getting into no-till and it didn't take long to realize that was the way for us to go. I think the soil is much more alive. You can't stick a spade in the ground without digging up a bunch of earthworms, which is very encouraging to us. I feel like we retain the water much better than we have in the past. Our yields have improved with this type of practice. So I'm a big fan of cover crops and have experimented with multiple types of cover crops leading up to our uh, test plot with the rye that we're talking about today. What got me into this particular test plot with rolling the rye actually was my local NRCS people. They knew of my interest in cover crops they were kind enough to invite me to a seminar down in North Carolina where I saw different types of rolling mechanisms to roll down the rye to plant into. So the ultimate goal that we, that we always have is to produce a great crop no matter what the conditions are. So my thought was that rolling this cover crop, providing the shade to the ground, would help retain more water in times of stress and as an extra benefit, suppressed weeds. In this particular plot, we were raising full season soybeans. One of our goals was to see if we could plant in standing rye, in rolled rye, and we wanted to try to measure that against our common practice of killing the cover crop out early and then planting in the dry matter left behind. Planting green is a big part of our test here, and rolling that green cover crop was a big part of this test also. I planted that rye mid-October last year. We planted the soybeans and rolled all in the same day, which was the first of May, probably May 9th, I believe was the date. And then we harvested those beans in mid-October. And here we are in December, thinking about what we did, reviewing some of the information that we, that we generated from this test plot. During this experiment, Everything that I was hoping to see, I feel like I, I saw it. I really don't feel like I saw anything negative. The first thing that I probably learned from this was planting in a tall rye cover crop is an easy thing to do when it's green. It did not scare me at all. It worked very well. The long stems of the rye are very slick when they are green. And that waxy slickness lets the crop go right off of your equipment it's actually much easier than planting in a uh, dead mat. At this point, I feel much more comfortable planting in a green crop than I do in a dead crop. We had a really good, exceptional growing year, and especially with the beans. We did have one stretch that it got very hot and dry, uh, but the beans, not just this field, they all held up very well. The yield of this soybean test plot was about 83 bushels which is exceptional for us, very happy with that. This is as high or higher than my standard practice. So there's nothing about this experiment in rolled or planting green that will deter me from doing it again based on the yields. One of the biggest things that I saw, that I feel like I saw was the decrease in soil temperature with the rolled cover crop. In the extreme heat of summer when we were going through a dry spell, I went out there and I peeled back the rolled over rye, I put my hand on the ground, and I did it in a field right next to it where I had wheat as a cover crop that didn't have much laying on the ground. And there was a noticeable difference in the temperature, much cooler in the rye than it was where I had the wheat. No doubt, has to be a good thing for the plant. Weed control. It's very important to all of us now that we have some tough weeds to handle. I will definitely say that the roll cover crop it helped. We did not have a flush of weeds at any time during the growing season. Having that mat on the ground 
suppressed a lot of weed activity and it is doing it still. Here we are, you know, December 8th. We're going to go out and look at that field and we'll be amazed at the weed suppression that is still going on with that field right now. What concern would I have as far as planting into green or rolled green cover crops? This is a one-time test plot. We did it this year. We didn't have any problems. Nothing about this project has deterred me from expanding my acres or trying even uh, different combinations. We're learning as we go. There might be something to come up to be negative. I'm not sure yet. So far, so good. What is the next step? Well, to clarify, I love rolling. I love cover crop. The next goal probably is to roll more acres to figure out a way of how to do that because I was very impressed. I test a lot. In farming, all of you who farm know that it's important to test and it's important to test on your own farm. It's important for you to see it uh, as it grows, as it succeeds, as it fails. You have to have failure in, in your life and in your farming activity to learn something that is going to drive you to, to a higher you know, form of management. Uh, and that's, that's ultimately where I'm looking to go. Like my dad told me years ago, he said, you do your job right and the rest will fall into place. And, and my job is to figure out how to best manage uh, what we have, and that's through testing. And that's how we all learn, and, and that's why we're doing this. And I hope you learn something from that.